Former national cyclist Michael Phillips believes there are lessons to be learned from Nicholas Paul's incident at the Olympics. Paul was accused of impeding his Russian opponent, causing him to lose a second win before losing the third and a place in the semi-final. Kent Fuentes has more. Phillips, a former president of the Cycling Federation, said Paul did extremely well in getting to the quarter-final, something he can be proud of. Um, so let me start with the qualification. His time was excellent. I think uh, other than drifting off of the line a bit with regards to not holding the line as well as the other competitors did, it, it made him not qualify the fastest. But speed and power-wise, I think right up there with them. Uh, the other thing I would say, through all the rounds, he was, he was pretty uh, convincing, pretty dominant. While he agrees with the call against his countryman in his second ride, he does not believe the same interpretation was applied for the Russian rider when he impeded Paul. But when it came to the re-ride and the Russian cyclist occupied the sprinter's lane with Nicholas, which is the same in reverse with that regard to that sprinter's lane, um, and, then the, and then almost causing Nicholas to crash, there was not the same application of the rules as far as I'm concerned because had Nicholas had crashed, the rider would have been disqualified. It would have been very difficult in terms of what they would have visualized at that problem at that, at that point in time. And while he maintains the young rider was not given the benefit of the doubt, he wants this to be a lesson for all our riders moving forward. Paul, along with Quisi Brown, will be next involved in the Karen competition. Kent Fuentes, TTT Sports.